So in this video, a ball is kicked from a point on a flat horizontal field. It has initial speed 9 meters per second and leaves the ground at an angle of 61 degrees. OK, so visually, what's going on here? Here's the ball's trajectory. Shot off at 9 meters per second at an angle of 61 degrees. OK? And we want to find the ball's time of flight. So we're going to start off with the acceleration equation, which is the same every time. So we've got 0i because there's no acceleration horizontally, and minus 9.8j because the only acceleration vertically is due to gravity. We integrate upwards, OK, introducing the initial conditions for the velocity, which is 9 cosine 61 i and then the initial velocity in the y component, in the vertical component, is 9 sine 61. And don't forget, we're integrating the minus 9.8, so we get minus 9.8t, j. Then we integrate again to get s. So uh, we're starting at the origin, so the constant of integration will be 0. So I'm just left with 9t cosine 61, i plus 9t sine 61, take away, integrating this, 4.9t squared j. OK? Now, find the ball's time of flight. So this is when, how long it's taken in order for the vertical component uh, to become 0 again. So the vertical component of the displacement is this one here, and I want that to be equal to 0. So I can either pop that into my quadratic solver on my calculator, or I can factor the t out. Like so. Now, t is 0 as a solution to this equation, but that would be representing when um, I'm starting off anyway. So I don't want to find that one. I want to find when this bracket is 0. So 9 sine 61 take away 4.9t is 0. OK, so 9 times sine of 61 divided by 4.9 gets me 1.606, so 1.6 seconds to two significant figures. Two sig fig, because I'm working with gravity as two sig fig. So that's how long the ball is in flight. And then the horizontal range of the ball before it hits the ground. So I'm going to use that time now to look at the horizontal range. So I can substitute the 1.6 into this, and that tells me how far the ball's gone. So we've got 9 times the t times cosine of 61. So times by 9 times by cos of 61 is 7.009, so 7.0 metres to 2 sig fig. OK? And that's how I can solve this problem.